People in southwest Louisiana love hunting, so KPLC's Erica Ferrando met with our outdoor guide, Hal McMillan, this morning at a goose blind in Thornwell to learn some goose hunting tips. Well, I've never been goose hunting. This was a first for me. I met with Hal at a camp where we took some four wheelers through the mud to the goose blind where he taught me the do's and don'ts of goose hunting. It's an early start to the day for goose hunters. They get set up in the blind before sunrise, so they're ready to go. Today just happens to be a really good wind, so we're going to have a chance to uh, have a good limit of speckle bellies and hopefully some blues and snow geese will be coming in. With some polished goose calling and remaining very still. All right, get them in front. These expert hunters get their first kill. World champion goose caller Garrett Cole earned his title beating out 25 of the world's best goose callers. Get somebody that, that's an accomplished caller and get under their wing and, and just practice as much as you can and, and listen to the birds. The birds are going to teach you everything you need to know. you got a lot of really good callers in southwest Louisiana practice. And, and if you're out in the blinds, uh, I always like to listen to the geese and what they respond to, have them respond back to me. You kind of uh, watch the birds and, and, of course, weather changes every day, so that, that brings a different element in it. While it's all good fun, Hal says his number one priority is always safety. You don't shoot over anyone's head. You shoot the birds in your zone to kill them, clean them, and cook them in the same day. Experience the whole thing. That's what's the fun part of hunting. <laughs> Hal says right now we're in the prime time of goose hunting season, and here in Thornwell, Louisiana, we're in the heart of goose hunting country. At your service, Erica Ferrando, KPLC 7 News. All right, Erica looks good in her camera.